Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome back, my friends. Another Weather Authority Alert Day in effect, and we are still seeing heat and humidity back in the area. Now, the cameras right now are looking at our SkyCam network and still seeing mostly clear conditions with temperatures in the 80s and 90s, 85 degrees in Whitfield, 90 in Martinsville, 86 in Blacksburg, 87 in Roanoke, variably cloudy. Now throughout the day, we will continue to see not only that cloud cover increase, the heat humidity back in full play and building up some of those storms later on in the day. Temperatures, 80s and 90s right now, 90 in Roanoke and Rocky Mount, Martinsville as well, 87 in Pulaski, 83 in Hot Springs, 90 in Alta Vista, Lynchburg and Bedford. Already pretty hot. We experienced same story yesterday, but there is a difference. While our heat indices are once again soaring this afternoon, nearing triple digits already, we still have the chance for some stronger storms in play as well. So a little bit more of that rainfall than what we experienced yesterday and the heat is already building. 97, Alta Vista and Danville, Lynchburg as well. 91 in Roanoke and 92 in Rocky Mount again. Heat index number, that is when you combine that air temperature and the dew point. We get this feels like temperature that is already feeling like the dog days of summer at noontime today. Now we still have that opportunity again for those storms this afternoon. The entirety of our viewing area in that marginal risk. That is a one out of a five on the SPC's rating scale. This afternoon, again, we have that severe storm threat with that heat and humidity that's going to be that fuel for those storms later on along with a frontal boundary. We could see heavy rainfall and localized wind damage with this system. Again, with that heavy rainfall, we have the chance for some flooding as well. Into Highland and Bath, Rockbridge, Nelson, as well as Amherst and Appomattox, you are under a flood watch. Now that is going into effect by three o'clock this afternoon, expiring at midnight. So again, with that heavy rainfall, we have the chance for a little bit of flooding. Be sure to stay weather aware with these storms. So we could see that flooding as well as those damaging winds. Now the timeline for this about four o'clock. That's when we're seeing those storms popping up, moving into the area. The coverage you'll notice very scattered, but as you move further up into the Highlands zone, that's when you see that widespread coverage as we go further into the afternoon and later evening hours. That is still moving in around evening drive time as well. So planning a little bit of extra time for your commute. Today is not the last day of those storms. We will continue as we move further into the weekend to see that precip back in the area. The start of next work week as that cold front finally exits, we will begin to dry things out and even drop the humidity just a little bit. Your forecast for the next couple of days, that alert day in effect today, high 94 degrees. Storms continue into the weekend and again, we'll dry out for the beginning of next work week. Abby.